So today I want to talk about my most recent lesson. Very, it's been a long time coming this lesson, and um, it's naturally just fallen into my lap. About um, yeah, the very very simple lesson of simplifying, and this has been like actually a really really long journey for me to get here naturally. And I've, a lot of people have told me over the course of the last like four or five years about this, but I didn't listen. And that's because like, I had to come to this understanding for myself by, by experiencing it. And like what I mean here is if you've been like, if you know me or have been following me for a little bit of time, you would know that I'm the kind of guy that puts 50 ingredients into a smoothie bowl. It's got like lion's mane, reishi, ashwagandha, spirulina, chlorella, blue spirulina, collagen, ev everything. And then I'm the guy that listens to a, that has listened to literally like every single health podcast, diet thing, book, read every single book, every single YouTube video, and I put a lot of information into everywhere. And it's like, man, this is there's layers to this in my life. I'm like, I, can, I can literally see it. The, the things I'm putting into my mouth, into my body, is just like so much stuff and then so much different vibrations and different things that it's like been muddling up my system. And then the things that I'm putting into here, into my eyes and to my brain, has also muddled up my system because it's like there's just so much... Uh, stimulus and yeah vibration and information coming into me and then I'm like how do I do it all at once <laughs> and I have been trying to like juggle it all at once and listen to every single thing out here and and like do it all and then so like naturally the pendulum has to swim out the other way and it's like I've been so far to hear of like that buzz and getting it all that now like it's the challenge here for me now is to actually just cleanse, like truly cleanse, not just the, the cleansing the body by fasting, but cleansing from everything and just quietening it down so I can listen again to what does my body want? Am I actually hungry or what? Are, just very, 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 very simple things. But yeah, that's that's the path that I'm on at the moment is that literally just simplifying things as much as possible and then simplifying my day not feeling the need to have to like fill it with the most high vibrational productive things that are like yeah even if I don't want to do it like why am I why am I forcing myself to have a cold ocean or waterfall swim every single day why am I forcing myself to work out or go to the sauna if I, if I don't want to and yeah I guess like that's that's the path that I'm on at the moment where it's been such a natural conclusion and also something else that I wanted to talk about very very briefly here uh, I might make another video talking about like more in, in detail is like the use of well, my use of uh, like drugs and substances and like psychedelics and everything and like this goes like hand in hand with this lesson that I've learned it's like more it's not necessarily better like less is actually more and like the amount of like this is spiritual information and I was thinking man the amount of journeys I've done probably like close to like one or two or three thousand and sometimes people would have one journey and that's enough to last them for like a lifetime and like so to actually like I feel like I just need to like stop because I'm actually very run down at the moment if you can tell <laughs> It's the first time I've been like sick like this for a while, like sore throat, sniffly nose, congestion. Um, but yeah, to actually like integrate and just like stop so that all the stuff that I put into everywhere can just kind of land and then naturally my being can kind of sift through it and it's like, yeah, this is this is good, this is not so good, this works for you, this doesn't work. But at the moment, like it's just so so crowded in here in the whole being that it doesn't actually know what's mine what's good for me what's not good it's just like you've just literally thrown every fucking piece of information and every ingredient for a pizza and it's like yeah make a good one and it's like how so yeah i feel like before oh and before i do like any more um 
difference. I wouldn't say damage, but because before, like, I honestly, like, I thought what I was doing was, like, it was the perfect thing that I could be doing. <laughs> everything before, because it's brought me to this place. Like, everything is actually divine. But now that I know that it's not serving me anymore, it's time to... It's time to let it go, as hard as those, like, distractions and addictions. I would say, like, it was an addiction. Um, yeah, letting it go. And today, I'm actually six days completely sober, like, not taking nothing. And, yeah, I'm on that. I'm just, just, just trying to find peace, just trying to be simple. And, start, yeah, starting at the foundations and starting at the basics. That's why we came out here to such a beautiful place, the Kaimas Island. And then it's funny because I got here and literally I became sick. Like the day before I was sick, but when I got here, I got really sick. And then I literally didn't have the energy to do anything. So I haven't even been to the beach, haven't gone swimming. And it's like just literally just staying at home, enjoying the simple things. Went for a kayak, just um, read a lot of books, had a nap, cooked some good food. And just like doing the very, very, doing the few things, but doing it like, well and slow and with intention and with presence rather than cramming a billion things and not really noticing any of them because you're just trying to tick boxes but yeah you know what I mean <laughs>